Good afternoon, oil traders. It is still September 14th at uh, 3.57 p.m. here on the East Coast, uh, three, barely three minutes left in trading. And uh, we're closing well off the highs, but uh, still positive. Um, as planned, I did buy short the uh, HOD Horizon ETF, uh, the bear ETF for crude. Um, at a crude price of 50.02, uh, so just above $50, um, well, well off the high. Um, and I was actually looking to get out of it, which I'll tell you about in a second, um, but it uh, doesn't look like I'm gonna get my target price, so I'm hanging on for another day. Hopefully the, uh, the bearish sentiment this afternoon holds into tomorrow at least. Um, the, uh, when we did get to the highs, um, 5049, it's it was a, almost a 50 cent gap over the morning buy. It was it would have been aggressive to buy there, um, and I certainly couldn't have justified it. However, it was also a resistance level back from August, and the last time we were above that level was back in May. So I really wanted to be kind of a little bit skeptical about our ability to crack that that kind of barrier. And although we were slightly higher than the level from August, um, we faded almost immediately. So I decided that uh, patience won out. And of course we faded and, you know, had I bought there, it would have been much better off for me, um, obviously, but uh, it is what it is. That was my justification for not getting out. Um, and uh, yeah, no, or not getting in again, I should say. Um, I simply wanted to be more patient with um, adding at that point, uh, simply because once we get close to or above $50, there's a lot of skepticism, um, and I think we're gonna see a lot of volatility. So anyway, that's what I did. Um, with the pullback, I was looking to get out. Um, had, we set, had we settled um, and closed near the lows of the day, kind of 49.60, I would have sold it. It would have been a tiny, tiny profit. Um, but at 49.70, it's just barely, barely worth it. Um, so I'm just gonna hang on. Um, if we go back up, we go back up. Um, but hopefully we drop a little bit more and it uh, gives me a, a, an opportunity to buy a long hedge as opposed to getting out of that short. Um, which I would have done had we gotten back closer to 49. Um, which of course we did not. So that's, uh, that's kind of what I did today and my thinking for the day ahead tomorrow as we wrap up the week tomorrow on Friday. How did uh, your day go? How did you guys play this? What did you think? And what do you think of the prospects of uh, getting back above 50 and, and then some um, as we finish up the week? Uh, hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, performance, etc. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned. And I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading tomorrow, Friday at uh, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.